Bamboo is easy thought of as a fencing material on when its wood is used for furniture in Kenya but rarely is it imagined as a delicacy that can be interchanged with some of the stem tubers. Bamboo shoots are a delicacy in Asia. Through a cabinet decision in 2020, bamboo was added to the list of cash crops, meaning farmers can easily grow and trade in the crop without special licenses. However, it has not been well embraced and its benefits have not been fully explored by majority of Kenyans, partly due to the existing challenges in the bamboo farming. Traditionally, you use uh, segments uh, which at least has a node and those segments are like the way we do sugarcane. And this is a challenge because you cannot do uh, a lot of them at a go. So producing seedlings for bamboo has been a challenge. Producing bamboo through uh, seeds is also a challenge because uh, bamboo takes many years to seed. Some 40 years, 70 years, 100, over 100 years. So getting seeds is also a challenge. So the bamboo for farmers would uh, need a lot of seedlings. And these seedlings would only come through a mass uh, production system. Normally seeds give you mass production, but here we have no seeds. And uh, vegetative propagation is also a challenge because you can only do a few. Biotechnologists from Kenya Forest and Research Institute have been working to solve the challenge. And currently, propagation is being simplified as tissue culture for mass production is paying off and soon, farmers can expect to access the seedlings which are currently retailing at 200 Kenyan shillings at half price. This is a walk-in growth room to facilitate tissue culture for mass production of bamboo. While the technology had been predominantly adopted in Asia, Kenya is slowly becoming the front runner, setting pace for Africa. The shoots are the edible part of the plant. Identify the ones that are suitable by looking at the height of, the, of the, that, that, that particular sprout, it should not go beyond one foot. Because if it goes beyond one foot, then it will have developed reginin. That is, it will be so hard for consumption. Preparing them is not an uphill task either. By simply peeling them to expose the fleshy part and rinsing, the bamboo shoot is ready for cooking. While it cannot be eaten raw, the first process in preparation is allowing it to boil in water for at least 30 minutes to get rid of the toxins and unwanted tastes, leaving you with soft bamboo that can either be fried with vegetables or meat, seasoned with salt and the spices of your liking, or by simply deep frying them in hot oil till brown and crunchy to obtain taste. I personally preferred the deep-fried ones, but sure enough, at this breakfast table, bamboo was the main dish. The U.S. Department of Agriculture lists bamboo as rich in carbohydrates, vitamin B6, proteins, and fiber. Bamboo is classified as one of the four most important health food by the WHO. These scientists now hope that the legislature can support the mass production of bamboo with policies while recommending it as one of the alternatives to achieving food security as a country. We need a lot of uh, uh, policy support in uh, certification of this material, especially as food, uh, certification of the, 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 the material we are using here as tissue culture, as seeds, because now we don't have uh, the actual seed, we have the tissue culture as seedlings. So this also needs a proper uh, certification uh, in case uh, farmers want to, uh, to have uh, is your material certified. We have different species of bamboo for various ecological zones. Like for instance, we have the indigenous bamboo that is found in the highlands, mainly in the water catchment towers like Mount Kenya, Abadeas, Mount Elegon. That's an indigenous species. We, have, we also have other species that are suitable for dry land, like we have one called Oxytenandra abyssinica, it's also known as uh, solid bamboo, that's suitable for areas that uh, have uh, very little rainfall. David Kagina, K24, 
from the Kefri headquarters, Campbell County.